Great to have you with us on this Friday night. First of two, Minnesota, Michigan follow this one. Penn State in their road blues. Ohio State in the home whites. The hockey game underway. The top yeah. scoring freshman in the Big Ten with his 15 goals. He's out, so it's been a season of adversity for the Nittany Lions. It really has. Logan Turnus has it in the trapper. Challenging, challenging teams, and you go from 26 up as Ohio State's got it tight, and Soulier with a flash of leather, his first stop in the game. New wingers today in Michael Gildon, the graduate, and freshman Thomas Wise. Yeah, those are two key guys out for Steve Rollick and the Buckeyes, but that's the world of sports. You got to deal with Patrick Guzzo, part of the Ohio State senior class. Turned over here, and Penn State with a chance. Right pad save, and Turnus had to make another one. And it lays the puck back. Jake Dunlap trying to walk through two, but Janiev broke it up and played it out of the zone. Now, Janiev back out of your picture. You'll see him there on the left, slow to get up. Halliday, cross ice, look, beautiful play, and they score! And it's Bricky that puts it in. Own retrieval, the neutral zone retrieval. There's another one right there. Turnover, Halliday gives way. And as Burnside gets it back, look at Bricky. He goes to a quiet, goes to a soft area, and Halliday sets him up for the one-timer from the angle. Right shot on the left side, and Scooter Bricky has the game's first goal. So Penn State is challenging here. And I would think that they're challenging the play on Danny Geneev. It's Jake Dunlap is the Ohio State player. Looks like Geneev, to me, from that angle, just ran into him. After video review, it was determined that number 91 of Ohio State committed a five-minute major in game misconduct for head contact, which means there is no goal. And the clock will be reset wow. to 1140. Simon Mack down at the hash mark, hammers it around. There's Jania back out there. He's the one that the officials felt took the head contact and set up this five-minute major, and nothing yet for Penn State. Couple of chances, but nothing that I would call a, call a quality chance yet. Lugris again in that circle. Into the bumper, off the stick. There, they get one there. There's a chance, and they put it away. Buko was in front. And Penn State's on top here with a power play goal with 8.19 to go in the period. It's 1-0 Nittany Lions. All since January 27th, and Pat Nicoletti would love this one. Yes, Battle for position out in front. He's got his skates in the blue paint. Now, you're allowed to go into the blue paint as long as you're not interfering with the goaltender. And Labak, Labak put it right on his stick. And Shots are 7-2, Penn State. Carried into the zone here by Mack. Gets it around. Oh, the Buckeyes going to have a chance here. Two on one, short-handed. Dalton Messina carries and shoots, and he scores! He ripped it in past Soulier. And the Buckeyes have even the game with a shorty. It's 1-1. Here's the release around the wall. Nobody home. And that means Dalton Messina is off to the races. Pass taken away. So Dalton Messina gets the Buckeyes' third shorthanded goal of the season, and he's got all three. He's got a nose and an act for it. Buckeyes back to the full strength. Ohio State, you'll take that all day. 1 1 here. They give up one on the major, but they get the shorthanded goal. And the Nittany Lions get it right back. Sent in from the right side, inside of the blue line. With 6.28 to go, they've got a 2-1 lead, so they get one as it expires. Yeah. Let's keep an eye. Nice bank pass to the point. Palasic walks in. Maybe it hit the Ohio State forward. That was coming out to and getting to know his hockey background as well. That was cool stuff. Just bringing another hockey guy into the booth. Right. Man. It's a three man booth. Look out. Here's Montez right in. And it's stopped and knocked away by Penn State. Arch rival Michigan and Mackie Samuskevich broke their hearts. But it's a very accomplished group. And again, an emotional time. He's a hockey guy. It was so much fun talking to him. 
Really appreciate him doing that. Leanne Parker, the SID here at Ohio State, had an awful lot to do with that and helping us set it up. And all of our crew, here's a good pass. Jania, what a pass out in the corner. Buko with a bullet pass and Danny Geneev, the pride of Brooklyn, New York. He's one of just two Division I players that call Brooklyn home. No Bull and an assist now. Tracks the puck in behind the net and a no look behind the back pass. Watch this. Defenseman Carfagna thought he was maybe going to circle the net. Nobody home, though, on that far side. Simon back down. Reese Law back. Glides his way into the zone for Penn State now. Lays it back into the slot. Great chance. Too easy. Penn State puts that one away. And Paquette gives the Nittany Lions a 4-1 lead here with 9-10 to go in the second period beating Logan Turnus very much this season. Law back, good zone entry, sets it up, and it looked like possession for the freshman Thomas Weiss. Instead, it's in his skates, mm. and it pops free, and Tyler Paquette has also had a young man that played for him that went on to become a Rhodes Scholar. Remember Landis Stankovic? Yeah. Unbelievable, man. That's, that's great stuff. Boy, Riley Hughes skates like his Uncle Ryan. <laughs> yeah, he's his dad's the smooth. Look out here, right in. Great finish from Penn State. In tight on Logan Turnus. And the Nittany Lions with 4.02 to go. Add to their lead. It's now a four-goal lead. It's a 5-1. Casey Amen joins the rush, goes back in like he's done it many times before, but this is his first college goal for 2000. <laughs> yep. If he gets it, it'll be the third Penn State goalie to reach that milestone. Ricky says, not this time. Scooter Bricky with a rip. You can take your 2,000 save and save it for another guy. Scooter Bricky with his 12th. We thought he started the scoring way back when. And he may have very well ended the scoring here. Here, Fred, here's how it happened. Yeah, it starts with face-off possession. Guzzo to Halliday. Drop back off, and in comes Scooter Bricky. And he had his spot picked before the puck arrived on his stick. Enough though, Penn State's gonna win the hockey game. Get their first since mid-November on the road as they try to build some traction for the playoffs. They'll play the final regular season game tomorrow in here against Ohio State. He's in the net for Ohio State to our left. Liam Soulier, well-tenured goaltender is in the pipes to our right and away we go for the final game of the regular season. Reese Lawback toes the line, toe drags, centers, nothing doing, takes it back on the other end, backhand shot, saved by Eberly, and then he caught a mouthful. It was terrific until the bad knee injury he suffered, but uh, he went to the great line. He said, I just had to stop the puck, not beat it up. You know, Panger was terrific, but you know, size is the big thing now with goaltenders. Sam Deck Hut scores. And a look at it here, getting past the defenseman. They actually, yeah, he put on that far side there. Both those coaches should reach that milestone next season, barring something very unexpected in the tournament, of course. Tournament and unexpected sometimes go hand in hand, as we all know. This is Eberle's first appearance since that MSU series. He saves it, the rebound, doinks off the pipe. A slithering, centering pass knocked out. Here comes Cassidy. On the back end, Messina a chance, and it's saved by Soulier. Well, I had Messina had Soulier going the wrong way for a second, but Soulier had just enough extension with that left pad to make the save. Servanio fires, Everly couldn't cover it. 
with Everly coming out up at the top of his crease at an angle to put that in some open space, but the pass went awry. Wrap around, chance from Lampa, and Everly stands tall. They are 0 of 2. A sliding shot from Mack, saved by Eberly. He is 14 of 14. Dylan Gratton to the point. Straddles the blue line, dishes to Mack. His shot is saved. The rebound goes in. And it's Dane Doyak with the equalizer out of Pittsburgh. Yes. See, Eberly gave it the big rebound, but there's Doyak sneaking into the back post. But Deck Hunt re-enters. He gives it a shot. Gordon tried to find the back of the net. That is because our very own Keith Kokinda is a Maple Leafs fan. John Larkin swoops behind the net, sticked away by Soulier. Uh, have been few and far between, and I think will continue that way, the way the defenses are playing in front of their goaltenders. Interlocked in the slot, followed up by Geneev, who you just mentioned. Simon Mack unfurls, it saved, the rebound, and a goal! It's Dane Doiak again on the power play. It's two to one, Nittany Lions. And again, as he did in the first goal, jumping on a rebound on the back post when he wasn't tracked down. Watch him coming in all the way from the slot right there, get in behind the defenseman, William Smith, who was caught puck watching. Right there, looking for that rebound. He doesn't track down Dowiak with their respective programs. Again, they should reach those milestones sometime next season, barring an unexpected tournament run. Gordon's dad, Scott, played for the Eagles. Guzzo a shot. Headed away by Soulier. So one of the eight seniors recognized today on Senior Day, and Geneev breaks out. A two-on-one, Geneev saved by Everly. Yeah, excellent shift from this first line. Taken away by DeMarsico, one-on-0. Denied by Everly. Rebound knocked out in the slot by Wahlberg. Three seconds left. Montes has to hurry, and time expires. Penn State with a season series sweep of Ohio State. Trying to get back to a third consecutive Frozen Four. We're off and running here in Minnesota. Michigan in their road blue sweaters. They love to attack in the first 10 minutes. In fact, they love to win the game in the first 10 minutes oftentimes. And they create an opportunity 14 seconds in. Duke from the point. That shot got through. Huglin's been playing better hockey there. Number seven for Minnesota. Wrestles the puck loose. Kicks it back. Kester the shot. That's off the stick of Barczewski. Moore likes to pinball around in that offensive zone. There leaves for Snuggeroo. Deals it back in the point. Kester was in a hurry. Michigan steals. Nazar the other way, dropping to McGroarty. McGroarty shooting, scores! Redirected in, Michigan opens up the scoring. Well, Michigan bursts out of their zone, creating a turnover on the top of circles, a fractional three on two. And I think they get a little puck luck here as that puck was shot by Nazer. I believe it may have glanced off the defender that was in the front slot area as you see McGordy collect that puck pivot. Here's Nazar dropping to McGordy with back pressure broken up. Pitlick skates away energetically. Pitlick the drive and that's a low easy claim for Jake Barczewski. Second unbelievable offensive play by Ryan Chesley. Here's Chesley again, speak of the devil, walks in, fires. Barczewski makes the save. Pitlick now looking for some company to spread it around. Rinzel shooting tip by Snuggerud. Barczewski deals with it. First penalty of this game will go to Michigan. 5% leading the nation. So many penalties have put their PK percentage in the bottom half of college hockey. And the timing of this is dreadful. I, it's, they have the momentum, the one nothing lead. I love the look around. Like, I, what happened? Uh, Moore flying in down the left wing boards in front of Snuggerud. 
through. Barczewski punching it away. What a pass by Oliver Moore. Keep Michigan at bay as Oliver Moore flying around in the attack. These teams have been using the lateral seams in the offensive zone way more than we traditionally see there. Brodzinski finding at that time. Showed Oliver Moore breaking up one of those passes. There he feathers it in front, comes back to Middlestad, scores! Luke Middlestad ties it! Well, let's take another look at how Minnesota got into this offensive opportunity. Brodzinski walks the line, draws three players. Puck watching there, that opens up an opportunity for Luke Middlestead. Luke Middlestead, the player, called for the penalty there. Answering back, showing the head coach, hey coach, got you right here. A lot of puck watching there for the Wolverines. And look at Jackson Nelson, just deposits Casey into the post there. I guarantee Nerado isn't happy about that. He's down along the player's area of the bench. There's Dylan Duke for checking, chopped out by Jackson Nelson. Marshall Warren. Charge of the neutral zone there for Michigan. Taking back over though, here's Brodzinski. Hitting the late man, Nevers scores! Jackson Nelson and Minnesota has their first lead. Jackson Nelson in front of the net, and he'll go right back where his bread is buttered. The big rough and tumble center collects a puck that Mason Nevers tries to shoot but doesn't get full wood on it. He just backhands that through the wickets. Nice pass there again. Here's Huglin. Trying to dance his way in. Backdoor play. Barczewski keeps it out. It was Lamb who had it on a platter there. And easy for Michigan. Huglin here. Puts his puck in. Barczewski gets that with his paddle. Brody Lamb battling with Casey. He's on a similar path to an earlier play when he was skating across the blue line, making some positive passes. Turnover, Shivsky walking in, shoots, scores! A bullet. Garrett Shivsky, the freshman, ties it with 43 seconds to go in the period. So often you'll hear coaches talk about blue line turnovers, a classic one right here that ends up on the shift, on the stick of Shivsky, and what a missile! High to the glove side as he collects this puck. Walks straight down that slot area, head up. Wow, that stick bowing during the release. Huge goal for Michigan to head. One player, all four of the centers up over the 50th percentile. Luke Middlestad eases his way in. Here's Kester. Oliver Moore turns, fires, scores! Oliver Moore, what a strike! And Minnesota works this puck down along the goal line. I don't think Barczewski was expecting this shot at all. I think he thought Oliver Moore was going to ladle this puck into the center area for Aaron Huglin, a right-handed shot who would be able to one-time it. And Moore just turns that wrist over, directs it at the net through the wickets. Up Barczewski, sneaky loose. He's grown so much this season with his decision making. Uber talented offensively, but Steve Miller. Nelson in, shoot, Barczewski loses his stick, and they say no goal. Contact with the goaltender, the play goes, faceoff goes outside the zone. But Nelson is hit by the head, I believe, of Fantilli, then goes into Barczewski. With Brindley bearing down on the forecheck. First, I've seen Justin Close get out of the goal crease. Lamb drags the puck of Wolverine into the corner. Brinzel walks in, changing directions. There's Nelson to bang it in. 4-2 Minnesota. Minnesota's going to win a puck battle here along the corner. No, spread up by Michigan. Then that's how Renzel walks down the line. And Barczewski so aggressive on Renzel on the top of his goal crease there, trying to cut down that angle, unable to get back to the goal. 
Nazar and Michigan holding in. Shivsky shooting just in close to save. Shivsky tried to bank it in off of close, but he was wise to that. See Justin Close like Chesky coming out. Slow to get up there as well as he was trying to use his paddle to cut off an angle. For Inski, patted aside by Barcheski. Notice that activates from the point position down low. Kester the drive, rebound, Huglin in front. They fight for it. Moore's got it. He's got a second one. Well, nice puck movement by Minnesota, but more importantly, good play here. Trying to track down a loose puck. Starts with Huglin shuffling it over to the other side, and then it was Moore and Brodzinski. Look at Moore just tapping his stick, but he perseveres and taps that one in right there on the backhand. That little play was the difference between Beast tonight. Eight wins of his 11 faceoffs. See if Michigan can find their way on the road. Final 20 minutes. Get a W tomorrow, try to move up and avoid being put in a position where they have to win the Big Ten Championship to gain entrance into the NCAA tournament. Watch out, Nelson Steeles walks in, scores! 6-2! Jackson Nelson has the hat trick! Picks this puck up through the neutral zone and splits the defense. West out to challenge, but beat on the glove side there. As the grand, the fifth year player. Speed. The coaching staff commented on Minnesota doing a good job of limiting their speed. So a slashing minor. On Bronzinski, first power play. Seamus Casey shoots and scores. Seen eye shot, might have beaten Justin Close through the legs, and it's a power play goal for Michigan. Taking a look, he's controlling this puck, spreading it across the top umbrella. And just a difficult time for Justin Close to see this puck through traffic. The Michigan player right on the top of the goal crease there. Here's Kester, slides it over for Chesley. To Pitlick, moving that puck around. Snuggaroo fires. Pad save there by Noah West. Been a pretty open period here. Shots 12-4 in favor of Michigan, and they get their second goal. McGrordy to Brindley. Splendid passing play, and the Wolverines lead by two. Beat them, your best players have to play just like expected. Casey gets a goal, and McGrordy to Brindley. Great puck movement. Finds the Bermuda Triangle of the Minnesota defender there, and Brindley uses his speed to gain entrance. And I would imagine the message from Coach Narado was something to the point of not good enough, boys. 21 shots, not Wolverine hockey. Justin Close turns the puck over, and Michigan scores. They lead 3-0 now. About to play that puck. Actually, a gopher defender does a nice job to try to play goalie like he's playing street hockey there. Estapa on the goal mouth there, able to shovel that in. Close comes out to play it. It makes contact. No, that Michigan player catches it. Nathan Airy has replaced Justin Close. You can kind of feel and hear the quiet. 
impatient home crowd. After seeing this team score three power play goals last night, a feeble attempt there. They're 0 for 2 so far. Now back door looking for one. West to save. Michigan will clear. Minnesota too many men right now. Minnesota too many. Yep. Minnesota bench minor too many men. Pass. Handcuffed. Go for player. Look at West down. Right along the ice there, sealing that lower foot. Brian released it. Got to be eight times in this game. There's a lot of situations this weekend, too, where he's been trying to get a shot off, but just couldn't. Well, he's obviously a commodity that is one that will draw lots of defensive attention. He's done his best to fight through it, as West had to be sharp there off a quick tip by Mason Nevers. Just underway here in the final period of regulation from Minnesota. Gophers won 6 2 last night. Nelson scores! Off the bar! Absolute laser beam. High to the short side here. They spread the puck across the ice. Well, Mason never says, Yeah, I'm not going to pass that. I'm going high to the short side. An unbelievable individual effort just snapping those wrists. Gets West down on his knees. Look at this one from this angle. It's McGordy, he's got Brindley with him catching up to the play. Marshall Warren now back for it. Snuggerud for checking. Brindley, a little bit of an opening shooting, scores! Gavin Brindley, a laser, it's 4 1 Michigan. West making it difficult for Minnesota and Nathan Area as it goes one way here. The drop back against the grain. Area actually set the whole time. Brindley rips that one back against the grain. Championships every weekend. Quarterfinals start next weekend. Great action. Teams trying to solidify their place in the playoffs. Redirected in front. Little light for Minnesota. Start at the Gopher blue line in Middlestead. Courier in this puck to his left to let the lane open up. He threads the needle down there, and the Rangers draft pick Brody Lamb, who was stymied just a few minutes ago. Nazar and Fish out of the box. Both teams returning to full strength. Michigan looking for the rebound in front. Moldenhauer with the try. He'll try to chase it down. Brodzinski sealing the near wall. Jackson Nelson looking to bank it and he does! And the Jackson Nelson show continues for Minnesota. Well, after a great battle along the wall, the Gophers collect this puck, and I think that. West thought that that puck was going to be passed over to the far side. Luke Middlestead in defense joining on the back side, but you were right. Nelson. Really good keep as he had two players around him. Wow. Hand right up in his face of, by Warren. Wrist shot from Cal Thomas. Wide open. West and in. Minnesota's tied it. Dogged determination on the blue line by Luke Middlestead to keep that puck in. Gets his face, drove into the wall there, backs it up. And then this shot right here allows Huglin to attack from the goal line. And he may have banked that puck in. Can't wait to see more intimate view. There's Brindley. He'd be a player if he had to just circle one. Rebound, Rutger McGrody finds it on the doorstep. Michigan finds the lead again. The line is all the way from the face off. Michigan wins the draw, sends it in along the dasher. 
Michigan retrieves, goes high to low, back up high. McGordy gets lost in that slot area. Truscott with the C9 wrister that creates the rebound and Brindley on his less dominant side. Empty net for Minnesota. Jackson Nelson down to his knees there. Gophers gather possession eventually. Nelson in front. Score! Minnesota ties it. Luke Middlestad, right place, right time. Let's revisit this from the job. Jackson Nelson Brindley effectively tied his puck. Brodzinski gets into battle, and Nelson's going to collect this off the wall. Patiently moves down. Middlestad sneaks by the Michigan winger and kisses this one off the goal post. Here on the power play. Shot from the point gets through. Shifsky can't get the rebound. He keeps it alive, though. Right in front, Duke misses the tap in. Start off with a clean sheet of ice. So they got Cal Thomas back on the back end. He'll be joined by Chesley, two rough and tumble defenders. Player to watch is Duke right on the top of the goal crease. And look at how close his heels are. A few swings and misses in front. Seamus Casey, 25 to go on the power play. Brindley fires Chesley the block. Gavin Brindley again. Seamus Casey wins it in overtime for Michigan. And already, some of the team's a bit anxious to get started with Whitelaw, but now we're officially underway. Michigan State's end, they try and drive it through center ice. But the Badgers come away with it. Cross into the Spartan zone. Celia going around the net. Shot fired, saved by Augustine. The latch fires and scores! A fast start for Wisconsin. Daniel Lodge gets it going, and the Badgers, just like that, are up 1 0 at the goal. He just flung it on goal and Augustine just didn't see it. And he was able to bring it home and feed off that crowd early with that goal there by Lodge. And already off that face off through the neutral ice, fires and wide of the net. Maybe caught some iron, Whitelaw finds it again. Make, trying to make a move, fling it in, Tassie. Rebound just out of reach from Fitzgerald. Russell missed that one pretty badly on the far side. Looked like he might have missed the t missed kind of timed that shot. And now Porter, uh, Gucci already firing from the point. Bantle gets away free, finds the puck in the corner. Michigan State's defense trying to pressure him. Blodichuk from up deep right where Lodge scored. Couldn't find the net. Traffic in front on that one. Now trying to wrap it in, and saved by Augustine. It's calm with it right there. Augustine confident in his positioning. He had that post closed off. Just had to cover up the five hole. That's your task when you're right there. And the defense took care of the rest, not letting the Badger attacker cut all the way out front that time. Levshnoff fires, and it goes through McClellan's glove, tied up. Michigan State ties it at one. Arnim Levshnov, his ninth goal of the season. And we're in a back and forth game early. A really unfortunate goal to give up if you're Wisconsin, just Levshnov just letting it fly. Familiarity with the Wisconsin area, played for the Green Bay USHL team. Now Wisconsin making a move, shot saved by Augustine. Gets it back in the, in the Wisconsin end. But Whitelaw finds it and racing up, just firing in, and Augustine will just trap it. These penalty kills, these defenses staying strong early on after the two early goals that were traded off in some weird fashion. 
to begin this one. Yeah, everything from in tight has been stopped by these goaltenders, but the shots from far away, like that one right there, have been giving them trouble. He is a hot commodity in the upcoming NHL draft. He'll be taken in the top three, probably, the number two ranked North American skater. And there he is with a shot right there. Of getting that puck back. Now coming the way, Daniel Russell. But taken away, Wisconsin making a shot. And now it's Augustine able to cover it up. But just a ni really nice takeaway right there, an excellent stick to knock that away from Russell. And then he tried that move, trying to get it to the far side, but. Here right in front of the Wisconsin bench, goes out to Blodichuk. Two minutes to go in the first period. He's gotta get out of the way. And here coming though, it's Lebster. Lebster making the pass, shot, score! One-timer, Jeremy Davidson. Oh, and there is the collision right there. And that was just sheer disaster. And then Lebster setting it up the other way and a beautiful pass, perfectly timed. And boom, bingo. And Davison gives the Spartans the lead for the first time today. Of course, Wisconsin, they enter this period on the power play still. So 121 to go on it. Their se uh, second advantage of the night. But Augustine aware and covered it up. Morlicki have it right on, shoots and saved on the pads of Augustine. Cole Center not liking that new call. Play goes on. Now making a move in front. And the puck could not find the back of the net. Then that stuff can happen where you have a guy wide open on the far side and a chance to take a free shot at the goaltender with a screen out there perhaps. Dexheimer, De Saint foul. Dexheimer near the point and score! Matthew De Saint foul deflects it in. The score is tied up thanks to the senior. Came pretty high up into the air, but looks like they're going to let this stand, Michigan State. I thought maybe they would try to challenge it for O'Connell. Helps Michigan State get it into the Wisconsin zone. O'Connell has it, trying to get it in the slot, saved by McClellan, covered up by McClellan. Now on the team with 14 goals, but penciled it in on that third line, and that's kind of just a testament to the depth on this Michigan State team. Coming in on that five minute major called on Michigan State with Sir back in the box. So here we are, John Green alongside Anthony Winker on Big Ten Plus, final period of regulation. Takes it through center ice, says Lucius to his left. Lucius trying to pass it to the right with Celia, just not exactly on target. Try to lead him, and now another shot ripped on the spin around. Latch in the corner. Lepschnoff pushes it forward for Michigan State. Taking it is Reed Lepser. Reed Lepser racing down, trying to get the shot in, scores! May that be the game-winning goal with 7-10 to go. Reed Lebster gives Michigan State the goal advantage. This time all by himself racing in and with a great move cutting out front and just slipping that one underneath the pad of Kyle McClellan. And what a play by Lebster. Goal number six on the season for him. Lee, pass along the boards. And trying to leap over the puck, Scholl. Scholl got it. Scholl takes the shot. Saved by Augustine. Howard, pass off the boards. Trying to get the pass back near the crease. Now going in front. Howard again looking to get it in. Levschnoff, six on five for Wisconsin. Close again. Dexheimer trying to race for it. And here comes Michigan State. This may be the dagger. Jeremy Davidson races in, cashes it in. Michigan State out on top by two. And may they go down with that. That one goes in, Bantle. I mean, they always say you can't miss wide on the far side like that. And there's a strange bounce off the skates of Palatichuk and then Davidson and it falls, right? Pass back, about half a minute to go. We've seen some crazy things before but that 
Looks to be about done. A shot and off. I don't know. That's a goal. An open netter, an empty netter again for Michigan State. That is for sure the dagger that will send with finally updates on the Jumbotron here. Time fleeting. Michigan State for the first time in program history. Champions of the Big Ten in the regular season. May the celebration ensue. get off to really rapid fast starts. Daniel Lodge got that opening goal within a minute of the puck drop. And here we are underway officially. Palatichuk coming up that near side. Now averaging, uh, allowing on an average 1.93 goals per game. And it was really that first one that he allowed coming in from Artem Levshnoff. That was weird and Wisconsin on the board early again. And Matthew Day saying foul to make that show. Notre Dame Academy, Triton Sawyer Shaw getting on the board early. He's an in-state kid. And when we talked with Coach Mike Hastings this week, he said that he didn't want his team to play offense for Michigan State. And that's what we saw last night. There was a lot of those breakaway chances. Here's transition. Whitelaw coming in down low. Out near the top and shot in from Kerr. Glove save, Augustine. So Wisconsin has the first advantage of the night. Bantle, pass, and trying to get a non net. Day save foul. Net loose. They're going to say it's a score. Badgers, 2 0. Carson Bantle the score this time, and the Badgers an early 2 0 lead. Net popped loose, but still, Wisconsin was able to slot it home first before any of that. Yeah, right off of the stick, it Ooh. appeared. Of the question is, did that net? It's like it got in there on time. And it's Matthew DeSaint foul that gets credited for the goal. Center ice. As strange as an understatement, there was the one that just happened to squeak past Augustine, and the other one right as the goal was coming loose. Whitelaw near the line, shot from Fitzpatrick. Or Fitzgerald, not football. Decently even keeled game. But right now, no love lost between these two teams. Shoulders a shot. Scholes across the ice for Licky. For Licky, and that hit the side. And he just grazed it. Four back, Mellenbacher shot hard in. Now loose again in the slot. Can the Badgers find it? They're trying to shuffleboard it in as Augustine. Now shot coming in. De St. Foul getting close on the rebound. Still, every time Michigan State seems to get it back, they just promptly lose it. Now one easy for Augustine. Now O'Connell gets a nice pass to Larson, who fires in, bad save. Really needing here, but Wisconsin to clear out, down two guys. Augustine passes all the way up to Levshnov to get back on offense. Howard. He's surveying up top as he's down low. Back to Howard. Howard cross and taking the shot, scores! Carson Dorwart. Dorwart makes it a one score game for Michigan State as they still trail by a goal. And yeah, Michigan State's power play coming in. And now it's Howard. Howard, Larson on his right. He takes the shot himself, saved by McClellan. That one awkwardly into the netting. Whitelaw, the whoreback. Now in the slot shot. Augustine saved it. Play goes on. 
Big Ten foes put against each other. Last night, of course, with the Big Ten title on the line as Michigan State secured it, getting the three points. Just needed two for the share, but they got it out right. Here we go. Simon Tassi off the faceoff. Palotichuk pass down low, and that was a shot ripped. Augustine covers for counterpart in Dexheimer. Reed Lepster trying to change it and intercepted. Pass shot ripped. Saved. A teammate there near the slot. Shot. And now McClellan doing the splits. Still alive. Their Badgers looking for an advantage with Stramel. Now that shot, McClellan on top of it. Take a look at first year head coach for Wisconsin, Mike Hastings coming in from Minnesota State. And Trey Augustine also a Red Wing prospect. Can't forget about the goalies, that shot ripped, goal dislodged. And down there, Reed Lebster tries to wrap it in. Days, or Badger getting close in there. It was a long trip in the offensive zone for Michigan State. Now let's see if Wisconsin can respond. And score! Right on cue, Carson Bantle. Well, that was a response. Carson Bantle, his second goal of the night. Have a senior day. Long time that Wisconsin had to defend against Michigan State's offense. And the first rip they get in the offensive zone on their trip. Carson Bantle bearing it. Badgers go up 3-1. They just scored, so looked like Michigan was high in might there near the end. And Minnesota getting the tie, forcing an overtime. So extending the regular season. It's Gerald Palotichuk. And it's an empty net for Michigan State. Wisconsin can give the official dagger Tassie Sawyer Scholl lets it in, score for Wisconsin. Sawyer Scholl second. An empty netter for Sawyer Scholl, assisted by Simon Tassi. So Scholl, Bantle, five seconds to go, he goes down. And that's gonna wrap it up for us here at the goal center. There's another shot in, but that is officially the conclusion. Wisconsin wins four to one on senior night to win the Big Ten regular season.